Hello friends, Marcy here, and we are ready for the Die Mine Inkvent Calendar um, day number eight. And, oh, right here in the middle. Oh, sorry, <laughs> out of frame, right here in the middle, center. Um, so let's look at, oh, I'm not getting, there we go. Exciting, exciting. Oh, ooh. <laughs> it's purple. And it says Jingle Berry. That's a cute name. Jingle Berry. All right, I'm going to unwrap some of this plastic. We're going to go for, I love short videos. <laughs> it seems like with this ink vent, they should be quick. You know, let's look at the color. Let's swatch it. And we're done. But I don't know. Something about the excitement, the possibilities. Um, my videos tend to be a little bit longer, so I'm gonna pause, speed this up, and come back to you. Okay, so I've unwrapped the plastic on Jingleberry, and let's reveal on the side. It's a standard ink. I see that the light reflecting here and the glow. It's almost like a cranberry, right? Oh, can you tell? All right, let's open it and you'll be able to see. Take this away until tomorrow. Let's look on. Actually, while we're flipping the page, let's just take a peek. Bliss. We get a little closer. Day one. And then I had a bleed through blooper, so I skipped a page. You log. Day two, solar storm, some glisten. Day three, again, the bleed through, so I skipped a page. Um, spruce, day four, spiced apple, and this was in a double broad uh, pen nib, which is perfect for this ink. Ghost, uh, day six, has not been inked yet, but I have plans. And then Alpine, day seven, gorgeous shimmer, and it is inked in a broad nib. All right, ready for day eight. And I don't wanna forget my little Ominiji pencil board in there to prevent the bleed through. On this Tomorrow River paper, uh, 52 GSM from uh, Paper Penguin Co. So take the cap off. Let's go down a little. Can you see that? All right. And we are. I'm going to do a little ink swatch here on. Um, oh my, that's pretty. Almost reminds me of the uh, Iro Shizuko. Yamabudo. Wow. And again, I want to pull down the ink puddle and ink pool to the bottom like I did on the ghost, when, which gave me a surprise. So, um, next, I need my dip pen. And we're going to write the name. Jingleberry. Day number eight. How's that? Okay, and if you're writing with a fine nibbed instrument, this will be your line width and line width and the color that it lays down. I failed to do this last time. Just a little wetness test there. All right. Next, we're going to swatch some lay down some color here on the swatch and I tend to do it a little heavy in the beginning and then fade out. Okay, this ink is not as wet as previous inks. 
and I like the pooling here. We'll see what happens with that if we get any um, shading, shading properties on this Tandard ink. Um, the bottle has already dried and it's just flat. There's nothing there. And the print on Jingleberry. So this seems to be drying quickly. Um, I do want to put down some ink on a chromatography sheet while we're waiting. And I do not have plans to ink this in a pen tonight. So get a little more ink. There we go. This will be a quick video. Um, I'm going to set my chromatography to water and we will check back tomorrow for day number nine. Thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.